I worked at a healthcare mental institution. Everyone there was crazy and had their problems. My job there was to help these people get better. And I, for one, believed in my purpose. And I believed that these people had the potential to get better. I knew it wouldn't happen overnight, but I had faith in that the people would get better and be able to leave one day. I know I shouldn't choose favorites, but my favorite patient was a girl named Cindy. She was a good person, but she was suicidal. Me and her became more like friends rather than patient and worker. I knew her for a little over a year and felt like she was getting a lot better. It was a Saturday afternoon, my day off, and I received a phone call from the hospital. They tell me that my Cindy has committed suicide. I rush over to the hospital as fast as I can. By the time I got there, she had already passed. I was so sad and never forgave myself for not being there for her. I never left the hospital that night, and ever since then, I never took a single day off. Everyone tells me that it's not my fault, but I knew if I was there that night, then she would still be alive. And I'll never live another day of my life knowing that I let someone else down. Animation, story and narration by Brandon, Apple Tech Stop.